Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Adventure Guide. However, this one's a little strange for one of my episodes. This episode is designed to help protect YouTubers. There is a current drive right now to get all videos on YouTube that mention the story of Oscar Washburn at Goatman's Bridge removed from YouTube, demonetized, or where they will not appear in the search. And there is a justified reason for it. And I'm going to explain that to you today on the Adventure Guide. Make sure that if you go out there from this point forward that you don't mention the story. Or if you do, you explain why it's false and how it never happened. Today I'm going to give you the documented history of Oscar Washburn. So this made-up myth appeared in the 1990s that there was this guy named Oscar Washburn who was an African American. And he lived just on the other side of Old Alton Bridge. Oscar was a hard-working man, and he bought a plot of land, and he began to raise goats on it for sale. Oscar became a beloved man in the community and very successful. Many people were coming out to do business with him. One day, Oscar put a sign up on the bridge that said, Goats for sale, this way, and it had an arrow pointing across the bridge going to his plot of land. It struck a nerve with the cake. One night in 1938... They got in vehicles, and they drove across the bridge to Oscar's house. They pulled Oscar from his home, took him to the bridge, put a noose around his neck, and there they lynched and hanged him. In order to seek justice, Oscar transformed into the demonic goat man, and the bridge has been haunted ever since. So here's the actual documented history of Oscar Washburn. In Alabama, on April 9th of 1881, a baby was born to Thomas and Sarah Washburn, and his name was William Oscar Washburn. But in all legal documents and on and off in census records, William went by Oscar. By 1900, the family had moved to northern Texas and were settled just south of Denton County in McClellan County as farmers. A few years later, they moved north into Denton County in the town of Aubrey. There, Oscar met the love of his life, Novella Copeland, who went by Novi. They married on the 30th of August, 1903, in Denton County. They had four children together, but their youngest died the same day she was born. Just before 1910, they moved over to Young County and bought a second piece of property, but they returned shortly after to Aubrey. In 1914, Novi died in Aubrey, Denton County, Texas. Oscar went back out to the farm in Young County, and there he met Delilah Miller and married her on the 24th of March, 1916. So Oscar Washburn is 100% real. He 100% existed in Denton County. However, he died on the 15th of October, 1917 in Aubrey, Denton County, Texas, not 1938 and not at Alton Bridge. So number one, Oscar did not die in 1938. He died in 1917. Number two, he didn't die at Alton Bridge. He died in Aubrey, Number three, lynchings made big sales in newspapers. There was no way a newspaper is not going to make a ton of money off of this event. It would have been one of the hottest stories that ever hit Denton County, and it would have sold a ton of newspapers. They would have made a ton of money. It would be in the newspaper, and it's not. Number four, there are still residents that live in that area that were alive back at that time. And they 100% say this did not happen. This is a bogus story. And number five, the biggest kicker of them all, for sure, Oscar Washburn was white. There was only one Oscar Washburn in Denton County, and he was white. This story never happened. So why does it matter whether or not you use this story in your video? Well, number one, you're putting a dark stain on the people of Denton and their history, and it's not fair. Number two, you're downplaying and making light of something that happened in our history that we're trying to learn from, not profit off of. Unfortunately, this is very disrespectful to the black community in Denton, and understandably, they would like this to stop. So what about all the videos on YouTube that exist with this Oscar Washburn story? Are these people racist? Absolutely not. Almost all these people had good hearts, good intentions, and they were not trying to profit off of the tragedy and suffering of people in history. However, the same cannot be said about the person that first made up this lie to sell books or whatever it was they were doing to profit. 
After doing this research and collecting all of this documentation, I would like to award one channel with special recognition, and that's the Paranormal Files. There's also a legend that a African-American man was hung, or I should say lynched, somewhere around the base of the bridge from a tree that he died during the Texas unrest, the period of racial tension in the time during, before, after the Civil War. But once again, that myth also has no truth to it. And so I'm just trying to start this video out with a little bit of truth to tell people that no one actually died here on Goatman's Bridge. There's no goat man that was lynched here. The facts are what we like for the show. We don't like spreading false information. If you've ever watched this channel, you'll know that Colin goes the extra mile to try and get all the facts about a place before he begins his investigation. Also, it appears that he doesn't fake his evidence and he's trying to truly present legitimate research on the paranormal. I'll put a link to the paranormal files in the description below. So, if the bridge is haunted and the story about Oscar Washburn isn't true, then what is the origins of the Goatman? Well, there's some people that believe it's a cryptid. Other people believe that the rumors of the Goatman has attracted cults and different people there performing rituals which has created a portal. Those are two of the suggestions that I've seen floating out there. By the way, everyone, I'm covering all the Goatman sightings throughout Texas, and they are everywhere. However, with all the work I put into it, I don't want them to get demonetized by simply talking about the Oscar Washburn story. That's why I'm doing this episode separate from the others. As always, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and until next time, we're off on another adventure. God bless.